are ready to ring in the new year, 2015. It's almost here, Ralph. I can't look at you, sorry. You don't like these? You don't like them? I love them. The you look okay. awesome. Well, I think we're kind of matching this morning. We do morning. the gold bow, neck tie, bow tie here, the shoulder pads. Shoulder pads that I learned about earlier from Pete. He's always looking out for me. Mm, I'm ready to go. But you know what? A lot of people serve, what, champagne for New Year's Eve. You have some other items that people can serve. Beer. Well, you know, with Ridgeview Liquor, we are the craft beer store in, in Wisconsin. So I brought some of our kind of cork and cage style craft beers. Uh, the Prestige, the Golden Carolus, or not Golden Carolus, the St. Bernardus, Oma Gang Brewing, and uh, Cuvée Rene. These are the really nice Belgian styles uh, focused on the yeast for the flavor, not on the hop. So really, really interesting beers. Okay as well as a really great new one for the playoff season, mm. the double check from Badger State and Mobcraft. And then I brought this one for Pete because this is a weather term. This is the Petricure. Cure. Cure. Petricure. Um, ah! And that actually uh, means the aroma after a rain. So it's the aroma that you smell after a rain. So this is a very cool one also from Mobcraft. It's similar to our... Um, Barrel aged one that we did with Stillmank Brewing. This is a single barrel out of an Elijah Craig uh, barrel. And then some really sweet style uh, from Belt or from Wells. These are the, the sticky toffee pudding, which you can imagine is sticky and sweet, and then the Bell's banana bread. So I have a feeling if you like lighter beer, these probably won't no. be for you. <laughs> no, these will not. But some of these, like the Cuvée Rene, would be a very light style, little tart, very, very wonderful for the holidays. So do you open it just like a champagne? Well this one has a cap on it uh, oh, with okay. a cork inside. <gasps> like a wine bottle? Would you have to mm -hmm. use a wine opener? You have to use a wine opener, correct. Well that's okay. And then for these guys? Well these are the you know the classic cork and cage. You just pop the the undo the wire, pull it off and pour it. You don't, generously. you don't want to show us how it's done, do you? No I don't. <laughs> Not with these. This, this one's quite expensive. <laughs> So, no, we're not doing that. Let's keep it closed for another special occasion. So today at Ridgeview Liquor, you open? Oh, we're open until 9 o'clock this evening. I'll be pouring something in the afternoon, um, probably starting around 1 o'clock. We'll be there pouring, I don't know what yet. We'll figure out something. But that's one thing that I really like about Ridgeview Liquor. I mean, you can go in and you can try some of the items. So, I mean, some of these, it's like, I don't know if I would like something like that if it's a little too heavy. There are certain items that people are able to taste test. Oh, absolutely. We, um, our motto is it doesn't get to your lips till it gets past ours. And we like to share that philosophy to let people try things before they buy. I know I'll have a Moscato open, a nice little fizzy style of Moscato, and who knows what else. Coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to be making some... Champagne cocktails. Oh, my goodness. Delicious. Can we do it now? No. Do wait. I, do I have to wait? Wait. Okay, I'll do that. Where are you located for people? We are located at 2265 True Lane, just off the corner of Ridge and Cormier in the same strip mall as the family video. Okay, wonderful. Well, we'll check in with you in the 8 o'clock hour. Great. We'll also celebrate... We'll pull the crackers. <laughs> we'll ring in the new year at 8 o'clock in the morning. But hey, we